what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise, and I'm back here at Tampa Honda, sunny Florida, and we have one heck of a comparison for you. We're going to compare these two brand new 2019 Honda Civic SIs. We got the sedan and we got the coupe. If you've ever wondered, when the heck did we get a Civic SI? Here in the United States, it first appeared on our shores all the way back in 2007. So about 12 years ago, it took to get to this very place. If you ever wonder, well, what does SI mean? Does it mean super intelligent or super intense? No, it actually means sport injected. And I'm telling you, underneath the hoods of these two 2019 SIs is some extra injected performance, fun, and just extra horsepower. So let's go ahead. We're gonna start off at the front end of the business, and it's gonna be real simple because guess what? No matter which flavor you go with, sedan or coupe, both front ends are exactly the same. I do like the style of the headlight on these SIs. The headlight housing looks great, and the way that the headlights behind that plastic cover are styled, very nice touch. I am gonna zonk it a little bit. There's a lot of gloss black going on. It looks good when they're brand new and they're sitting here in the Florida sun, but over time, these are gonna take a beating and it's gonna look a little worn uh, as you're driving it more and more. There's that beautiful badge, that SI sport injected badge. That shows you that, hey, this is not gonna be your standard Civic. I like the way there's a simple chrome Honda emblem. Now, here's another thing I wanna debunk. Some people like to question and say, why is it on some SIs the Honda's red? Guess what? That particular owner changed it. The only time you'll ever see a red Honda badge is on the Type R, not on the SI. Big zonk on these fake large vents, so we're gonna go big on the zonk, big on the fake vent. There is gonna be a refresh coming, hopefully 2020 is the year, but still on these 2019s, it's just, it's just too large. I wish they would've just closed it up, show more of this beautiful platinum white color. I think that would make a big difference. I do like the front grill area, and I like this lip spoiler that's integrated into the fascia, and it's nice because it's just regular ABS plastic. Lurking behind both of these grills is that intercooler because remember, at the end of the day, you got that 1.5 liter turbocharged engine, nice size intercooler, and I like the way that they have the LED, LED fog lamps. That's gonna help not only with the look, but with the, also the style of it as well and the performance of you being able to see at night. I think one of the smartest things that they could have done to give a little flavor to the front end of these cars is the body line. So the body line, believe it or not, actually starts on the front fascia, the front nose, top portion of the fascia, and goes up onto the hood. You can see the pearl in this beautiful platinum white, and it's the same exact body line on the coupe compared to the sedan. From the front end, they're the same. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sides of these two 2019 Honda Civic SIs. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, so we're gonna start with the sedan. Four-door fun with the Civic SI sedan. It's nice to see them having a coupe, having the sedan. I know a lot of people are like, why not a hatchback? If you want a hatchback, you gotta go Type R. Now, from the front and the side, the SI is actually narrower than a Type R. So don't be surprised if you go to buy your SI and there's a Type R sitting next to it and you're like, why does that one look wider? It's a totally different setup at the front of the car. But as we wrap around the side here, I like the way the flat line from the front bumper comes into just enough into the fender, goes all the way around. I love the simple style to the wheel. Nice brushed aluminum, gloss black. It's an 18 inch wheel. You got plenty of meat on the sidewall of that tire. Because remember, on the Type R, it looks like a rubber band around the wheel. And you're gonna run into problems if you hit a pretty bad pothole or one of these curbs around this parking lot here. As we go from the wheels onto the mirrors, I like the style. One thing I wish they would have done, I'm gonna zonk it, is there's no uh, LED turn single lamp. So that's a big zonk for me. I wish they would just incorporate that into the side here. You could see the special camera that Honda uses on their mirrors to allow you to see into that next lane. I do like that on the SI. This one does have a sunroof right over the, pa right over the uh, passenger and the driver. Could be nice because it is a sedan to have a panoramic sunroof, but it's still nice to see that they have that. And that's the wonderful thing about the SI. If you hate looking at the option list and saying, which option should I go with? The only real choices you have is whether you want the coupe or the sedan. The, other than that, 
they come exactly the way you see them with all the options, including that sunroof. I like the use of the chrome right on the top here and how it extends a little bit past the quarter window, kind of slims it up because the part that I'm not really in love with with the sedan is this portion back here, the rear quarter. It's a little too heavy. Makes the car look a little too big in the rear end in a not so good way. But as you wrap it around, I do love this trunk lid spoiler. Enough, just enough height to it to show that it's something different. I like the way it extends over the taillights. And then the back is very clean, except for this guy here and this guy over here. Why do those even need to be there? Make that just be all that beautiful platinum white pearl. And then my next big zonk is the vacuum cleaner. I'm glad it's not on because it probably would have sucked my hand in there and ripped it right off. But I think they should have went, if you look at the Civic Hatchback Sport, they got these really cool just twin exhausts. I think that would have been perfect. What, why? Why does it have to look like that? I, maybe it's a 21st century futuristic thing, but I'm not really digging that. I do dig though the SI logo because that means so much. There's so much history going all the way back to 2007 here in the United States and very, very cool taillights. Always, whenever you're behind an, a, a Civic, I don't care if it's an SI or whatever it is, you always know what it is, especially at night because all of that lights up, they're LEDs and just a wonderful setup. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sedan. All right guys, time for the coupe. Front end of the business still the same as we wrap it around. Still have that wonderful body line coming into the fender. Same style wheel. I wish they would have went with a little bit different design for the coupe just to separate the sedan the coupe, but good looking wheel. Brushed aluminum, gloss black with a nice chrome Honda emblem in there, 18 inch wheel, so it's a great size. This car is gonna be a great daily driver that will put a smile on your face really permanently every single day. Same story, they took the nice color of this platinum white, brought it into the mirrors. I would like to see it be used a little bit more and I would like an LED turn signal in there just to give it a little extra upscale feel. Still got that very nice chrome finish, which really, Looks pretty good on this car. Sunroof, as we go back, I love the rear quarter window. This is gonna allow a lot of light to brighten up the interior. And then as we go into the rear of the car, I really like the coupe a lot more. I love this body line that goes all the way into the line of the taillight housing. And then to wrap it out back, they gave you a totally different wing. This wing is totally unique to the coupe. And I think that's a huge thumbs up for Honda because it's gonna separate the coupe from the sedan even more. I love the rear end on the back of the coupe a lot better. If you notice, this is much smaller. I like the way there's no gloss black back here. It's all flat. Even though none of this is functional, it looks good and it's just a flat black and it's much smaller all the way across compared to the sedan. Still though, that same vacuum cleaner exhaust. I wish they just put the two exhaust outlets. You'd get a very nice look. Speaking of a look, they look so-so. Let's see what it sounds like when we fire up after we look underneath the hood of both of these Civics. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we are. We got both hoods popped on these Honda Civic SIs. What you're gonna find is the exact engine and transmission setup. This is a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine putting out 205 horsepower. The wonderful thing, if you know how to drive stick, is both of these are mated to a slick shifting, six speed manual transmission. So like I said, at the end of the day, 205 horsepower, you're gonna get between 28 in the city to 38 on the highway when it comes to MPGs. If you're wondering, is there a weight difference? Yes, the coupe weighs in at 2,880 pounds compared to the sedan is a little over 2,900. If you're wondering, well, what is the speed of this vehicle? Zero to 60, depending on your right arm and depending on how you could dance on those twinkle toes is gonna be around 6.3 seconds. But I do like underneath the hood, the lack of all the plastic. You could see everything there the way it should be without covering all that stuff up. You can see the ignition coils. It's nice to point out for those who don't understand, this is an inline four. There's our four spark, spark plugs underneath these ignition coils, turbochargers up front. Let's go ahead, fire up both of these and see what they sound like. All right, 
right, guys, here we are in the 2019 Honda Civic Si. This is the sedan. Come on in. It's actually pretty comfortable here. Let's start on the door panels. Door panels, a lot of black. I do like the contrast stitching. What I don't like, and I'm going to zonk it every single time, is the material, that cloth material on the armrest and on the back portion of the door. I don't like it. I wish it was leather or some other material. The armrests, I think they're made out of stone. That's how hard they are. So if you want to tear up your elbows like I did here, that's what I would do is definitely utilize those. But when you go from the door panel to the dash, very nice soft material. I like this faux carbon fiber. It looks pretty good. I'll be honest, it, it would probably fool people who weren't on their A game with their carbon fiber. Very nice infotainment setup, good size screen. The big news for 2019 is this little guy right here. The knob is back, volume knob is back. If you're wondering, well, why, who cares? The reason why is, is because people want to fine tune their musical jingles. They don't want to use the things on the steering wheel or scrolling through the screen. What's nice though is the screen is very easy to use. It uh, goes from one thing to the other very quickly. You can get back to home. You could go into settings. Really, really just crisp. Not the quickest. It could be picked up. The pace could be picked up. Maybe some of that SI, that performance needs to be injected into this. It's a little slower, but like I hit that and you see how long it's, but the graphics are nice and clear. So I, I guess that's the plus, but I would have to zonk the actual speed of this. You got your blower fan uh, switches right here, and then you have your dual climate control. And what's nice is it shows right up on the infotainment screen. So you turn this knob and then you could make it warmer, colder, whatever you want. When it comes to staying warm, you got dual heated seats, a nice cubby. Now, if you're wondering, what is this little cord here? Is this like an umbilical cord? No. What you're able to do is, is that the USB is actually down here. I don't know if Tom could show you, but look, here's my hand. Even though I'm in the driver's side, you can see my hand from the passenger side. I actually like this setup of this dual center console, but if you want your phone up here, what they do is, is they, you just run the wire. You gotta run the wire to here, and then you could plug it into the USB and charge it. If you don't like the umbilical cord, you could cut it and just keep everything down here. Whatever floats your boat. There she is, six speed transmission. So I hope mom or dad taught you how to drive manual because this is what you got at the end of the day. Now, is it as great as the Type R's? No, but this manual is pretty good. The throws are fairly short, not as short as the Type R, but they are fairly short. And I like how crisp the engagements are. And it makes a nice mechanical feel. You got some dead buttons here. Remember, MSRP on this car, if you're wondering, 25,000. It's a great way to get into a performance type car at a fairly reasonable price. But we got fake buttons here. Here's your electric e-brake. And then of course we could go into sport mode, which I'll show you what that's all about in a second. Very large cup holders. And then you have another little area where you could lift up the armrest. This is actually all open, believe it or not. So this whole center console area is all open and you could slide the cup holder. If you got like the super duper big gulp, you could have your super duper big gulp in here. There's another uh, power source in here as well. So very smart the way they engineered this. Seats, I love the seats. Even though they're all cloth, I like the material, I like the design and they're the perfect amount of bolstering. It holds you in nicely, nothing too obtrusive that's gonna squeeze you like the hands of wrath, but it's gonna keep you planted. So when you go down that curvy road, even though it's front wheel drive, go down that curvy road, you'll be able to have a blast and stay planted. Why don't you come on over to the business side and I'll show you what's going on behind the wheel of this Civic SI. All right guys, here we are behind the business end on the SI, at a price point of 25 grand, it's all manual controls, but check out the pedals. I love the aluminum pedals that they have in the SI, just like the Type R. And you know what? It's actually really good for heel toe downshifting. The placement is pretty good. Is it as good as an STI, a Subaru STI? No, but it's pretty good. Steering wheel, love the size, love the shape. I don't love these buttons. There's something that they did by putting some kind of coating over it I don't like the way they feel and I don't like the way they look. They remind me of some Atari uh, game controller or ColecoVision that I had. What I do like though is I like the instrumentation, nice large tachometer there in the center and then you have your coolant and your fuel 
flanking it, watch this. I'm going to hit the sport button and even on the SI you do have active dampeners. Now you don't have three settings like the Type R, but you do have two separate settings and what a great thing, a feature on a car coming in at this price point. Overall, very comfortable. I'm six feet tall, even with the sunroof, have some room. Since it's a four door, let's go check out that back seat. All right guys, back seat time of the 2019 Honda Civic SI sedan. Surprisingly, there's a lot of room back here. Even though it's a compact car, Civics are compact cars, I have plenty of room. Now I did move the seat up a little bit just to show how much room you could possibly have back here. Six feet tall, my head is not hitting the ceiling. I like the way the seat is a little tilted back. You have a nice armrest with two cup holders in here. The only thing if I'm gonna zonk back here is I wish they would just give you a USB. Since it is a sedan and you're more likely to have people in the back seat than the coupe, one USB isn't gonna kill anybody, I promise you. Another zonk is the harder plastic that's on the edges. I wish they would have brought the cloth all the way to the edge because guess what? They have those rock hard armrests like they do up front. And that's another thing I would like to see changed is the armrest. Just give some cushion for God's sakes, uh, if anything else. But let's go ahead and see what kind of room we have in the trunk of this Civic SI sedan. All right guys, tail end of the business. Time to see what can we put in the trunk of the Civic sedan and quite surprising, a lot of stuff. I like the size of the opening. You have a 60-40 split back there. Lots of room. This is a compact car. I am impressed with what Honda did. And you can see here that you actually have those levers like you have on the Accord. You pull this and the seat uh, unlocks and then you can push it forward. So very, very nice touch. Let's go ahead and now check out what you get with the coupe. All right, guys, here we are in the 2019 SI Coupe. Let's go to the door panel because that's where you're going to see some differences. You can see the difference in the style of the door handle there and they use some gray trim which is nice because it breaks up the sea of darkness on the door panel. Still those uncomfortable armrests but hey it is what it is. Love the dash just like the sedan. Same setup, infotainment, everything looks good. You got that wonderful slick shifting six-speed transmission and you got Really nice bolstered seats, not too much, not too little. I'm going to call this the Goldie Locks racing seat because they really are perfect and comfortable and I really, really like it. But that's what you're going to get in the coupe. Six feet tall, plenty of headroom just like the sedan. Let me go ahead and show you what's in the trunk of a coupe. All right, guys, time to check out in the trunk of the SI coupe. Very surprising. You open up, you got a nice large opening. Not as deep as the sedan, but still plenty of room there. You got a nice 60-40 split. It's impressive what Honda is doing with their setup and how they're able to get all this wonderful space. Because remember, this is going to be a great daily driver for you that's going to be able to put a big smile on your face. If you're ready though, I'm ready to take it for a spin. Let's go take these for a spin. All right guys, we're rolling out of Tampa Honda in the 2019 Civic Si. Very, very comfortable seating position. I'm gonna go ahead and get on it. Great power, I'm telling you. Even though it's 205 horsepower, it really shows the work that Honda did with the tuning of it and how the boost comes in. The gearbox is a is a dream. It's, it's just very slick shifting and uh, I'm just overall enjoying the seating position. Visibility, it's a little tight out the back. I mean, uh, the window's large enough. It's just a little slanted. That spoiler doesn't block your view whatsoever. Great visibility though out of the side mirrors and the side windows. Love the instrumentation, very easy to read. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in sport mode. What's cool is when you put it in sport mode, it shows your Civic and it shows the suspension, changing that tune. Very nicely done, I really like to see things like that because it just it heightens the whole driving experience which is what it's all about driving a car like this at the end of the day steering feels great when you put in that sport mode it does stiffen up the steering a little bit let's see downshift a little bit here nice a little bit of rev hang i don't know what it is with the hondas in particular but the rev hang is a little annoying um 
So I wish they could just tweak that a little bit, making a U-turn just to show that was easy. Second, now I'm gonna go ahead and get on and be quiet. You can see the shift lights light up on the dash when I got close to the red line of the engine. It pulls pretty good all the way to red line. I would probably shift right at six because I noticed that it was running out of steam just a little bit. In sport mode, I love the feel of the steering wheel. Very light, very nimble. And they have definitely did their work with this being a front wheel drive car, taking it and tweaking that front suspension to where you can go and do an autocross day with this car. You could go do a track day and you could drive it every single day. I mean, that's how good this car is. But I like the, the overall feel of the gearbox. I just wish they would get rid of the rev hang. If you've been in a regular Civic, this is definitely not a regular Civic, but if you've been in a regular one, same basic layout with all the infotainment, AC controls, things are able to understand for the music lovers watching. Watch these two fingers. Look, there's the knob, easy to get to. Makes sense to me, right? But I love the seats. I think that's one of my favorite parts of this car is the driving position. The seats are perfectly placed. I love the overall feel. I love the thickness of the steering wheel. Like I said, I hate these controls on the side, but the wheel itself is great. Steering wheel is gonna go up, down, and go forward and backwards for you um, and have it exactly the way you want it. It's just manual controls and that's okay. Because remember, MSRP $25,000 I, you would be hard pressed to really find this much bang for the buck at this price point. Very smooth driving. If you're just doing your normal bit daily business, it's very smooth, very quiet. But then if you want to get on it, you drop it down. So I'm at 4,000 RPM, you get on it. Telling you, it's got it's got the right amount of oomph to it, so that's what's really nice. Brakes feel good, and the steering. I mean, I wish I had a curvy road to take you guys on, um, but unfortunately, in Tampa down here, there's nada, nothing to be had. But I'm telling you, the steering feels great in this car, it really does. It's just the right amount of heft. Like I pointed out in some other cars, uh, the steering feels a little light. Even if you put it in sport mode, if the car has a sport mode, this thing is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let me go ahead and uh, do some heel toe downshifting here. And get cut off, but that's okay, because that's Florida. That's how Florida drivers do their thing. Check out the side camera there. That's a nice little feature just to show you where you're at on the curb. First and a second. Pull on it. I wish there was more sound. You know, it's the same story with my Type R. I wish there was more sound coming from the exhaust. And I'm not asking for a big old coffee can exhaust that's gonna rattle your teeth out. What I'm asking for is just a little bit of a, of a symphony of sound other than the buzzing of the engine. And it was the same story with my Type R. And I know, listen, I, I know you're already typing in the comment section, well, Joe, I'll just go get an exhaust. Wouldn't it be nice to have it from the factory? A nice active exhaust, you want quiet, you put it in quiet. And if you want louder, then you can put it in that mode as well. Call it sport, whatever you want to call it. I think that would go a long way, especially coming from Honda, because you know, I know, Tom knows, the people in the car next to us know, that Honda can easily do that. It wouldn't take any engineering whatsoever because they've engineered all this other great stuff, except for a soft armrest. I wish it was a little bit more cushion. My elbow's hurting. And even over here too, this thing is annoying, but same story. I remember on my Type R, this big gaping hole. It's the hole of, of uh, it's like an abyss there. And then the edges are just just as hard, this hard cloth underneath this uh, PDI tape here that needs to be removed. But that shipping tape underneath that, that same cloth, it's very hard and I just don't know why it's gotta be like that. Other than that, very comfortable car. When it comes to the actual feel of the shifter, like I said, it's, it's very light. The shift knob, 
it's a little on the small side, but it feels good when it's in the palm of your hand. Especially when you go from that second and third shift. Clutch modulation is great, so if you're new to the world of manual transmissions, welcome. You're gonna enjoy being here. But if you're new to manual gearboxes, you're gonna love the pickup point on this thing, and you're gonna love how it feels in traffic. It's not heavy, one bit, and it feels really, really, really good. All right, guys, let me give you another acceleration. We're rolling at 20 miles an hour, second gear, flat on the pedal, the boost, you gotta wait a second, it kicks in, up to third, so like I said, if you're quick, zero to 60 in about 6.4 seconds, where about that area, um, and it's just, a, it's a fun car to drive. Not a ton of torque steer, which is nice. You know, normally these cars have a ton of torque steer. There still is some, but uh, it's, it's not as bad as you think. Let me show you. So hand off the wheel, I'm gonna floor it. Second. Steering wheel stayed nice and straight. So just to give you an idea of when it comes to torque steer, even though we're not in a Type R, this thing still stayed straight and true. So that's really good news for those of you who wanna make a quick getaway um, and you're worried about wrestling your arms back and forth. All right guys, I'm gonna do a quick U-turn uh, just to show you turning radius. Turning radius is brilliant. As we're pulling away over the bumps, Things feel tight, things feel good. But just the visibility is wonderful in this car. And it doesn't matter whether you go with the coupe or you go with the sedan, visibility is great both ways. Easy to read the instrumentation and what's cool is, is you could adjust that to show uh, your throttle, how much throttle you're using. Uh, how it shows, it's got a boost gauge on there to let you know how many pounds of boost that turbo's uh, spitting out. So that's really nice feature as well. Just the, the little things that all add up to the big picture. That's what I love about this car. And you're gonna get great miles per gallon. I mean, 28 in the city, 38 on the highway for a fun driving car, that's great. And I know a lot of you would probably say, well, add a Zonk because there's no automatic. All right, I'll add it for you, but it's not coming from me because I'm happy with this manual. That's how good it is. But we're gonna go ahead and make our way back to Tampa Honda. Make sure you, uh, if you're in the area, see Christian. And I'm hoping that this helped give you a little bit more in depth on the two Honda Civic Si models that are available, the Coupe and the sedan, but we'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, been a wonderful day here at Tampa Honda. Want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to Christian and everybody else at the dealership, just opening up the doors and allowing full access to Rady's rides. Definitely want to come see Christian if you're interested in one of these Hondas. If these are the types of comparisons you like to see on Rady's rides, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're just stopping by and you're on your way out, Hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Thank you for being part of the team. Check out all my different forms of social media. You know what they're called. All Radies Rise original content all the time. If you want to promote the channel, get yourself some merch. There's a link right in the description of this video. It takes you right to Spreadshirt. And then finally, the man of the hour. He's actually waited a couple extra hours to get lunch. So we definitely leave some love in that comment section. Make Tom Motioner's day. Tell him how much you love protein as much as he does because we're going to go eat now. But thank you, Tom. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.